Roth wins. It's all right, I'm awake. Roth wins. I'll deal with Bingham. Day 27. Experimental project ES stroke 5 stroke treble 7. Urban examination and observation. Time of day 8 12 a.m. Old time. Month January. Old calendar. Year 1980 AD. will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? Eldred and I seem to be adjusting quite well to the cold weather. So does the baby. Our temperatures are normal. And that's living inside, of course, with a comparatively civilized system of heating. Outside, I'd hate to imagine how we'd survive outside. I only have to look out to feel threatened by it. And I wanted to report a transference failure. Eldred said it was not important at this stage. But it is to me. After all, I am responsible for the domestic side of this experiment, am I not? You see, we stopped receiving supplies of nutrition two days ago. <laughs> some simple breakdown that you've already noticed back there. So I suppose there's nothing to worry about. 
We still have some supplies left. I'll try to make them last. We don't mind making a study of 20th century food, but we shouldn't like to have to eat the stuff. Living room. This place hasn't been lived in for months. We're too late. 86 days. What? It's been empty for 86 days. It happened 86 days ago? No, we would have been told. People from another time, people who shouldn't be here. What would 86 terrestrial days mean to them, one way or the other? We would have known. If something had happened to them, we would have known. This whole planet would have known by now. You've searched this whole building, every floor, every room. I know, but they're here. Well, what are these people, invisible? Microscopic? I don't know. But whoever they are, I know they're somewhere here. And whatever it is that intends to attack them? I don't think it's even started. Not properly. The kitchen. 8.28 a.m., day 27. Breakfast. 20th century style. Steel? There would have been actual items of food. There would have been eggs, real eggs, natural bread, natural butter, and probably some kind of preserve. A girl? No, not quite a girl. A woman? Yes, a woman. You mean you can hear her? No, I just know she's here somewhere. And a man. There's also a man. Well, where are they? Wait. There's a third one. A child. N no. A baby. Yes, it's a small baby. A baby? Here? Yes. Well, can you hear it? No. Can they hear us? I don't think so. But whoever they are, the atmosphere is normal. It feels normal. Yes, well, it's far from normal. I'm going to check the building again. No, steel. I said they're here. Here? In this room? No. In another time? Where? Above us. There's somewhere above us. And as well as having to prepare and cook this food for the morning meal, our dear housewife and mother of the late 20th century. Would have been organizing her evening meal at about the same time. On the roof. They're hiding on the roof. No. They're not hiding. In, say, nine out of ten homes, the main task in the preparing of that evening meal would have been the melting of, or the restoring to its proper temperature, the principal element of that meal. And that principal element would almost always have been a piece of dead animal.
attack has started. There may be another level, a rooftop apartment. wrong? Nothing. Lean forward. Is this the last of the consignment? Not quite. Whatever it is, will you tell me, please? I mean, it's not as if they're likely to leave us stranded here in time, are they? I hope not. Did you hear that? Hear what? It stopped now. It was about... about there, just over there. What was it? People talking. Two people. Thirty-four a.m., day twenty-seven. There, it's there now. Voices? Only one voice this time. I'd like a signal back, please. I'd like to be sure that you can still hear me. Would you please signal back? It's a wall.
friends here. It's a corner. There's more along there. What about your side? The same. Can you feel any windows or doors? No. Just a wall. Well, a wall texture. It won't signal back? No. Well, what is the texture? Brick? Stone? What? It feels like brick. And yet... And yet it has a composite strength, a strength like metal. It's homogenous. Oh, yes? All of one texture. Whatever this is made of, it's synthetic. Well, can you identify the substance? No. So which one did you try? The master pipe. Well, we usually get an instant signal back from that, don't we? Yes. Experimental project ES stroke five stroke treble seven. We have been told that certain people are experimenting with time. People from the not too distant past or the not too distant future. Am I right? That's right, yes. And consequently, as nobody should mess around with time. Except us. Except us. That these people are in danger. And not only them. Time itself is in danger. I think that it's a capsule, and that its crew is a family, a small family of three. And tell me something else. From what date, what, what time is that thing? I mean, give me an estimate. It's from the future, about 1,500 years. Could we please have a signal back? Only we seem to have lost all means of communication with you. Also, the transference system seems to have broken down. We're getting no supplies. And we've our child here with us, remember? So, if you could try to signal back... I'm frightened. Frightened? Yes. Because there's something else. Something else is happening. And you say they're hallucinations? Yes. Well, I shouldn't worry. No? No! You were trained to sense things. It was part of your studies, wasn't it? So that's bound to make you more receptive than the rest of us. Remember, when you used to put your hands to the sides of your head and think hard so that you could gain insight, Eldred. so that you could communicate, Eldred. I mean, communication... Yes? I really am frightened. Frightened for all of us. All right. We'll talk to the others this evening. Yes. See what they think. This is a terrible part of time in which to be trapped. But we're not trapped. It's brutal. It's cruel. People like us, we'd never survive. But we're safe in here. We're protected. Nothing can possibly get in. Not in here. But the things I felt, the things I saw. A pillow? How can we possibly be harmed or feel threatened by a pillow? Steel? Steel, there's something in there with them.
irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Did you see it? Yes. A bird. Some kind of bird. It was a swan. But not a real one. Not exactly. I'd say it was being used as an instrument of attack. Well, it did a good job. It came through, that thing. No, it appeared to. Appeared to? I was the victim of that attack. Where are the marks? It's still trying to destroy me. Oh, yes. Something soft. Something made of feathers. And yet it can reach out and strike. Strike through that thing. And we can't even scratch the surface. Why a swan? Why not something like an eagle? Does it matter? Yes. Well, the only thing that matters to me right now is who or what provoked that attack. What do you think? Was it our little family in there? Or was it whatever's hiding in there with them? I don't know yet. Time to set the charges. No, steel. Yes, Sapphire, I have to. As a precaution, we have to be prepared. We just might lose this one. What about the people downstairs? That's their bad luck. You're talking about the lives of 63 people and 15 animals. They'll be saving the whole of humanity. The human beings love a good sacrifice. Don't worry, when the building falls down, they'll blame the architect. It's only a precaution. Hopefully, all we have to do is to block off this stairway, keep the roof, this floor, and that invasion force to ourselves. What about the lift? I'll arrange it so that it only comes up as far as the eighth floor. Why don't you just immobilize it? Oh, no. Life must go on normally down there, while we do what we've been sent to do.
human beings. They are capable of creating something that is invisible and impenetrable. Of what else are they capable? Friends upstairs with 1,500 years of accumulated knowledge. Who knows what their plans are? And what their reason is for being here? A man, a woman, and a baby. It's hardly an invasion force, is it? Where did they come from? Things? Yes. Everything. Everything in this place. The furniture, the clothes, everything. Where did it come from? It was provided. Are they real antiques? Well, some may be. Only they can't be real. They're in too good a condition to be antiques. Then perhaps a reconstruction? I need to know. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know. Everything was provided. And this? How did this get here? Look. Look, they're objects, that's all. Items. Pieces of equipment. Well, one of these objects, one piece of this equipment, tried to kill our child. What, sweet? And you. It tried to make me kill you. What? Rothwin! I've just seen the child. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, what about these things? How do they move? I've never seen them move. And the woman? Woman? Yes, I saw a woman dressed in blue. Very beautiful. So where did you see her? Well, I saw her outside. Outside? Yes. Then how could you see her? Well, I saw her through the wall, of course. In there. Which wall? We have to go back. Back to our proper time as soon as possible. If the communications are broken down... But it's then only they're... a temporary fault. You said that. Yes. Yes, it's sure to be only temporary. Well, perhaps in the meantime you could contact the others. I've already said that I would. This evening. Eldred. Yes? Because there's the thoughts as well. Thoughts? Yes. They only began today after I'd seen... What I kind of thoughts? Well, just a strong desire to leave here. But haven't we just said... No! These thoughts have nothing to do with leaving this time period, just with leaving this place. Just a strong desire to pick up the child and leave. To escape, I suppose. Escape? Yes. It's as if something's ur urging me to go outside. But you know that's impossible. Yes. We're sealed in here. The doors and the windows. They're not real. These thoughts. Do you have them at this moment? So could you please contact the others, perhaps... I will, later. Well, why not now? What's wrong with now? Because it's part of the procedure of this project well, to contact... there's lots of things the... going on in this contraption that have nothing to do with the rules and regulations of the project. Yes. And the state of your mind is obviously one of them. Poor 
right? I'll set up the screens. Thank you. Look, it's still receiving information. I know that. You see, a change in time, it can be like a sudden change in altitude. Some minds just can't adjust. But I and was chosen because adjust, of my training. Well, I think that deserves a report. Don't you? Stairs. They're blocked. Who wants them? Just between the eighth and the ninth floor. This looks rather complicated. Bigger knot in the cable. When it goes up as far as the drum, then the lift will only come up as far as the eighth. Experimental project ES stroke five stroke treble seven. Urban study group transmitting to rural study group. something is happening here, or it's my mind, my imagination. Urban study group transmitting to rural study group. Rural study group room two, please. Hello? Hello. Urban study group transmitting to provincial study group. Back to rural study group. Room three, please. I realize that you cannot advise me at this stage, but perhaps a medical analysis would be of use in the interim period. In the meantime, there's nothing to worry about. We're making contact with the other two study groups. As you know, 
There's a doctor in study group three. Perhaps he can help. Provincial study group room two, please. Godwin? Alfreda? Solar time is always at the same length and has no real existence. What is it? There are three power sources being used. So? One is... One is some kind of tabulator. For record keeping? Yes. Well, we, we predicted that. Now that stopped. That one stopped. The second one, well, I think that's the system for communication. Communication between them and who else? I'm not sure. Yes, it's definitely a means of communication. Was there anything unusual about it? Well, it all fits. Records, communication, it's not those two power sources I'm worried about. It's the other one, the third one. Yes. Here, I'm in line with it here. Which way? It's wrong. The third one is wrong. Where is it? Something else is wrong. The child, the baby. It's no longer in there. are still there and there's someone else I think it's another adult you think I'm not sure but there is a connection between between the third power source and the new adult yes what is the third power source the third I don't power understand. source what is it it's not power it's not energy as such it's time What would that family have used to travel back 1,500 years? Time itself. What form would it take? A unit, some sort of machine. They succeeded in crystallizing a unit of time. Yes. A crystal of time. Then it could be unstable. 
A time unit gone wrong. Well? I can't communicate with it. Not without being in there. So it's not an outside force that's attacking it, it's an inside one. Something that came with them, something that they used to travel back from 1,500 years. Or it helped to bring them back. Why isn't it on their side anymore? Try to communicate with it. I can't communicate with the crystal. No? Oh, go on. Time's your, your specialty. You have things in common. All right, if you can't communicate with it, then try exciting it. But let's see it. All right. I'll try. Trying. It's a piece of apparatus. I can, I can analyze its function. You've already done that. Try to communicate with it. I can't possibly. Is it only a machine? Yes. No. No, it's not. It's not only a machine. Well, not completely. Not all of it. I can't. You can. Tell me. It's capable of so many things. Tell me. Tell me! will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned.
沙发，沙发Please, Sapphire, where are you? Morning. I fixed the lift, I'm afraid. I wasn't going to walk up. Oh, it's all right. I haven't touched your knot. Silver! Don't touch it. I'd be careful if I were you. It's a capsule from 1,500 years in the future. Of course, you don't have to take my word for it. Oh, I believe you. Good. Steel. Steel. Where's Sapphire? What? What is it? I'll show you. Just know. She won't be in there. Not in there. Look, if you know something, no, I don't... No, 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 no. I know about communications. I know about machines. That's all. Um, would you excuse me? Oh, that's not the only capsule, by the way. 
There are two others. Did you know that? What exactly are you doing here? Me? Yes, why did they send you? Oh, believe it or not, I just happen to be passing. Why? Well, it has nothing to do with the danger to this planet. Well, not directly, anyway. But uh, if you were to destroy that capsule, you would increase the uh, danger. And that's why they sent you? To tell me that? Not exactly. unknown force is doing its best to cause havoc with that capsule. And if I destroy the capsule, I would be assisting that force. If you like, yes. Oh. Ah. How is it that you seem to know more than I do? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I would. My information was wrong. No. Not wrong. Incomplete, perhaps, but not wrong. I'm going to need this. Whatever attacked me is in that capsule on the roof. Something that came with those people from the future. If we're going to eliminate it, we have to get into that capsule. But we are not equipped to enter a place that isn't there. We? The Sapphire and I. Ah. And we cannot enter a structure that does not exist. I was almost destroyed trying, and now Sapphire has disappeared. But there must be a way in. Yes, well, actually, there is. And that's why I'm here. There must be a way in. Well, actually, there is. And that's why I'm here. What's wrong? Hmm? Oh, nothing really, just a sort of echo. Here? In this room? Yes. No. Half in this room, half in my head. I don't hear anything. It's gone. It's gone. When can we go in? As soon as I've prepared the way. Good. Because I need Sapphire back. Oh, quite. 
I know how you feel. You do? Yes, we... Well, she's very attractive. The other two capsules. Where are they located? You don't need to worry about them. They don't matter anymore. Urban study group calling rural study group. Anyone there? Nothing at all, see? And you called them? I've been calling them for the past hour. Roll experiment room four. It could be just a minor breakdown. Remember how they were always going wrong during the preparation course? We should still be seeing the others. Not necessarily. We're seeing that. Why aren't we seeing them? Because they're all we've got. Royal experiment room three, please. If we're trapped here, they are all we've got. No one else can help us. The others, they wouldn't have gone back without us, would they? No, of course not. It'll be dark soon. I must see to the child. Yes. Come with me. like Sam. There was a glass. A glass of water on that table. Perhaps you believe me now. Frost wind. No. I'm going to find my child.
they have some sort of communications room. Now, what we have to do is to find the room that's directly below it. It'll be on the same scale. I saw it, you know. What? The inside of the capsule, just briefly, before Sapphire disappeared. Well, can you describe it? No. Would you hold that for a moment, please? Thank you. It was just a glimpse, nothing more. Can't be helped. Apparently, all three capsules have the same ground plan as one of these flats. <sighs> Identical layouts. You work with her a lot, haven't you? Well, what's your solution this time, then? Do I have another talk to a monitor, to a box on the wall? Will that help? Rothwin! Whatever's happening here, whatever happens to us, nothing is going to harm my child. Please, Rothwin. But I do. I know him. Just one. I thought I... Steel? Sapphire? 
I'm in the top floor flat. Where are you? I'm in some kind of communications room. But I can't find any controls. You mean you're above us in the capsule on the roof? No, I'm not. Well, where are you? I'm in another capsule. I suppose we should call it capsule number two. Have you looked in any other rooms there? Yes. I've seen all that there is to see. Does it have a crew? Safa? They're all dead. And that's why they don't matter anymore. That's right. Safa? Yes? Silver is here with me. Good. He's going to get us into the capsule. This one here. I understand. Sapphire. Silver. I shall have According to, to Silver, this is the governing one, the main one. This is where the power source lies. Silver is right, of course. He always is. Tell me more about the crew of the second capsule. Yes? Silver is here with me. Good. He's going to get us into the capsule. This one here. I understand. Sapphire. Silver. I shall have According to it. Silver, this is the governing one. The main one. This is where the power source lies. Silver is right, of course. He always is. Tell me more about the crew of the second capsule. All irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver, and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Tell me more about the crew of the second capsule. Come with me. Well, how can I? Just follow my voice. I'll talk to you around the place. But it's a but different... No, it's the same. It's the same plan, the same layout. Just step into your hallway. How long? Oh, soon. Very soon. As long as you're back in here and she's back in her communications room in, um, four minutes. And 32 seconds. Quite a work of art, isn't it? Hmm? But I suppose you'll prefer something a little less decorative. Hmm? Something more coldly efficient. Are you through the door? Yes. This is the downstairs hallway of a farmhouse. Now turn right and follow the corridor. This capsule is disguised as just one floor of a farmhouse. 
None of the windows or entrance doors are functional. Everything is sealed. There's no way in or out. The sun would have set in an hour or so here. What about there? The same. It wasn't an invasion force after all. Well, if it was, this crew wasn't a part of it. And what do you suppose they were doing? You're part of a survey team. And what were they surveying? I don't know, something fairly harmless. The survival of the family structure into the 20th century or something like that. Only it turned out to be far from harmless. Sapphire? Sorry. Now, there's something very strange just here. What was once glass or glass ornaments has been turned into silicon dioxide, sodium carbonate and calcium oxide. Sand, soda, ash and lime. Yes, the glass has reverted to its original silicate state. Anyway. Sapphire? Yes? In a few seconds, we're going into that main capsule. We could be too late again. Nevertheless, we're going in. There's still the time force, that crystal to be dealt with. Yes. Go back to the communications room, right now. There must be a screen in there. Some kind of a screen. Yes. Is it activated? Yes, it is. Then go to that screen. Stand by it and wait. Because we'll all be going in together, all three of us, at the same time. Yes, Steve. I'm ready, Steele. I'm ready to go in. Now down just a little bit more. Perfect. Steele? Tell her to stay close to the screen. You tell her. Oh, yes, why not? 
Stay close to the screen, Safa. Wait, something's changed. What do you mean, changed? Well, do you remember the last time we were on the roof? Yes. And I said I sensed the child was gone, that it was no longer in there. I remember that, yes. Well, now the two adults seem to have gone. And the child? It's still not there. It's still not in there. Well, who is in there? The third one, the other adult. That's all. That's the only person left in the capsule. What about the power source? The, the crystal? Nothing. It's as if it's dead. I could always try to... No! Whatever you do, don't make contact with it again. Are you ready? Yes, dear. Because I think I know what it might be trying to do. Right. It had better be quick. Oh, it'll be quick. Because if it catches us halfway... You wouldn't need to do that. What? All it has to do is to switch off that screen. How would you like to be transported 1,500 years into the future? Hmm? Tell Safar it's now. Now, Safar! You both came through there? Yes. What happened? Just look at this place. I said, what happened? We got in. That's what happened. There was a defensive time field, a sort of vacuum. And that? Was it. This place is amazing. Who set up this time field? Whoever made the capsule. It was built in, some sort of security device. The time source wasn't involved? Well, it must have had something to do with it. That would have been part of its job. Sensory control. It's all very sophisticated. Don't touch anything. Oh, absolutely not. You know, this must be one hell of a communications room. Hmm. I said, don't touch anything. Not in here. What is it, Steele? Well, if that time source was involved with the defensive field... It's bound to be. It's involved with everything. Right. It brought the capsules here. Well, it's instrumental in bringing them. But what would it have used to create that field? It would have been space, wouldn't it? No. Uh, no. Static space. So it could have left us out there in time and space. Yes, yes, it could have left us there indefinitely if it wanted to. And why didn't it? It's been fighting us ever since we got here, trying to prevent us from getting in. Why not this time? When it would have had the advantage. Yes. Do we go back the same way? There's no other way. Well, there's a comforting thought. Safar. I, I don't quite understand. It hasn't been burned and it hasn't been cut. Well, what has happened to it? It's lost its... No. It's never achieved its molecular structure. In other words, this part of the door has never existed. Zinc carbonate... Pyrites of copper and cellular tissue, plant tissue, the primary states of brass and wood. Do you mean something, someone did that? Yes. And whoever it was, they were standing here. 
They were standing right here. When? Not long before we arrived. So where are they now? Somewhere. We'd better locate it first. Look, I get you in, I get you out. I'm a technician, I'm not an explorer. You want to wait here? Alone? No. Wait. These are real, just like in the other capsule. But this isn't. No bricks, no plaster work. Is it the same as the outside wall? Yes. It's a synthetic material. What about the people? There's still only one. Could have been wrong. Wrong? Yes, about the crew members. I could easily have been wrong. My calculations could have... No. You were right the first time. I told you. Sealed. There was a child in here. How long ago? A few hours. And now? Same sort of material as the outside wall. Some kind of, um, metal? happened in the other capsule. What is it? You mean, what was it? All right, what was it? It was glass. When? A few hours ago. You mean... like this? Nothing. No. Nobody. Not a soul. And where have they gone? However... There is something here. Some kind of machine. The time source? 
No, no, not that kind of power. It's some sort of recording device. Or a transmitter. Something like that. Transmitting to where? Back to their base control, I suppose. To a base control that's 1,500 years in the future? Yes. Now, what sort of signal would they need for that? Is it working now? No, no, it needs to be triggered. I could get it to operate. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could cause a fair amount of panic in the process. Panic? Back at base. I mean, what's the first thing they might do if they heard strange voices coming over the wires? <laughs> Let's recall the capsule. Do you think you could get us off in time? No. Steel. It's in here, in this room. Oh, it can't be. It? Yes. Something. Someone. You stay there. Oh. Up there? On that level? Yes. Where? There, there. Sapphire. Where are the others? Where are the others? Others? The woman and the child. Where are they? There are no others. Do you know who we are? Yes. And are you not surprised to find us in here? Yes. Sapphire. I can't do an analysis. Not from here. I need to be closer to him. No. Tell us about your project. Project? Yes, your reason for being here. I mean, you're part of a, a team, aren't you? Part of a survey team. On a survey into the past. Yes. Prepare. Experimental project ES stroke five stroke triple seven. Urban examination and observation. All references according to old time and old calendar. Fine. Now, where are the others? The other members of your team. Where are they? There are no others. There's only me. Well, if that represents the future... He doesn't. But he does steal. In a way, he does. How can that possibly represent the future? Know. It's some kind of future. I'm just not sure. His own future? He represents his own future. It's time. It's to do with time. That's a machine. No. And I can fix a no, machine. Any, Don't interrupt, machine. Silver. Oh, come on, now, Steel. You've tried talking to that thing, and what sort of answers have you had? It's human. It can't be. Leave it to Sapphire. Let her work it out. Humans give answers. Proper answers. Machines don't. I mean, we're risking our lives in this contraption. It is human. You are human. No, Sapphire. Keep clear. But there's something wrong. It's at the beginning. It doesn't know anything. It doesn't sense anything. See, I told you! It's a machine! No. It has no knowledge. But it has a need. It depends on things. What things? Warmth. And sleep. It needs sleep. And warmth. And food. And 
love? Steel? It's a baby. A baby? Yes. How old is it? Ten, twelve weeks. <laughs> so I'm afraid you've both fallen into the trap of attributing human characteristics to a simple flexible casing and a handful of circuits. They can easily program a machine to have a, a child's mind, a child's mind. Why would they do that? I don't know why, but I can soon find out. I'll open it up. No. You keep away from it. Look, steel, 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 steel. I am the technician. And there's no machine, past, present, or future that I cannot handle. I'm afraid you've both fallen into the trap of attributing human characteristics to a simple flexible casing and a handful of circuits. They can easily program a machine to have a, a child's mind, a child's Why mind. would they do that? I don't know why, but I can soon find out. I'll open it up. No. You keep away from it. Look, steel, 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 steel. I am the technician. And there's no machine, past, present, or future that I cannot handle. All irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. You can't kill it, Steve. You can't hurt it. Touch them both. No! Touch 
touch them. I won't! It tried to resist something, did you notice? Yes. Whatever it is that's controlling it. The time source? It must be. And what is it? A human transmutation. I suppose you could call it a changeling. A changeling? A substitute child. It's old folklore. Except that this child hasn't been substituted for another. He's been substituted for himself? Give or take 30 years, yes. I wonder what he did to Silver. What he did to everything else. Like the door. I think he sent him back. To where? To the beginning. To his beginnings. Maybe even further than that. <laughs> what is it? I was just trying to imagine, but it's impossible. Imagine what? Silver having any kind of beginning, any kind of childhood. That's strange. My thoughts exactly. About Silver? No. About you. He's the baby from this room. Yes. I have very positive origins. Inexpressible, maybe. But positive. Without silver, we don't stand a chance of getting out of this capsule. What about the What parents? are you going to do about it? But what Try about... to get him back. If he has sent silver back to a time when he, when he never even existed... What did you say? What about the parents of that child? Well, he could hardly have sent them back into the past. If he'd done that, the child itself wouldn't exist. It wouldn't be here. Or maybe he sent them in different directions. Yes, the opposite direction. Do you remember the hands? Left hand. The past. Right hand. The future. Well, it could be. Yes, it could be, yes. There must be a power system somewhere. It must be the machinery. This room is very special. It's the only one that isn't pretending to be something else. Room from the future. Yes, but how does it work? There's no machinery, nothing. Nothing we can see. Well, how did it get here? How do we send it back? We can't send it back, not without its crew. All right, while we're waiting around, waiting for them to reappear, what do you suggest we do? I've no idea. Precisely. So get Silver back. No. No. You're not forgetting the time source. Only I thought you were worried. Worried? That it's all gone too smoothly. That we got in here too easily. No, I'm not forgetting the time source, and yes, I'm still worried. Good. Now take time back. To when the three of us were together in the living room. See you back there. I have impeccable origins.
Day 27. Experimental project ES-5-777. Urban examination and observation. Time of day, 8.27 a.m. I'd like to report a transference failure. The measure of duration for ancient continuous existence without reference to extension in space. Absolute time to my is mind. unrelated to matter you see, evolution and is continuous, unlimited, and infinitely divisible. Relative time, by which duration is measured with reference to events. Sidereal time is based on the rotation of the Earth with respect to the star. Silver! I'm afraid you've both fallen into the trap of attributing human characteristics to a simple, flexible casing. Steel, 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 steel. Time, as measured by clocks, chronometers, etc., is computed on the basis of an average or mean solar day, which is always the same length and has no real existence. What do you mean you can't work in there? It's impossible. I just can't operate. Not in that room. Then try another room. Try the screen room. No, it has to be the room that Silver was last in. What's stopping you? The room itself. Alive. With what? With time. You mean it knew your reasons for going into that room? Well, it must have done. What other reason would it have for setting up a barrier like that? So you are unable to take time back? Under these circumstances, yes. I haven't got the power. Yeah, but it has. Obviously. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, the same thoughts. You can't use your powers, and I can't but do what I've been sent to do and take this capsule back to where it belongs because the crew aren't here. We've lost our technician. The only one who can get us out and get us in. He's a useful sort of person, isn't he? time field outside this place, and now apparently a time barrier within. What did you do? What did I do when? When you entered the room, did you prepare things? What? I, I just thought about what I had to do to take time back and to get Silver back. You only had to think it? Yes. Think it now. Yes, but the past or the future? I don't know. It could have been either. Try it here. Take time back here. When you and I and Silver first came out from the screen room. Try that. So, which one did you try? The master pipe. Well, we usually get an instant signal back from that, don't we? Yes. That was people from the future. Oh, well, why were they dressed like that? It's part of their experiment. Did you expect something different? Yeah.
Some sort of transmitter, Silver said. Yes, and a monitor. Something that sees us, watches us. Well, there's probably one in every room. Maybe there is nothing tangible. Maybe there doesn't need to be. Steel? It's here. Remember on the roof? Yes. Here. Yeah, yeah. I'm in line with it here. Yes. I remember. It's very powerful, Steel. It can do anything. Try to communicate with it. I can't possibly. Is it only a machine? Yes. Capable of doing anything it wants. Capable of everything. Yes. Those clever people of the future with their brilliant minds. They harnessed it and Remember. used it, whatever it is. Oh, 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 no! Oh, the pain! Oh, oh. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Wait here. Anything now? No. If only we knew how these walls were constructed. Could be anywhere. Is it? Has a right to be anywhere in this capsule. Could have access to any part of it. Built in. What were those noises? Sounds of pain. What's that? The whole capsule is built like that. Let's see if... You'll never shift. Silver could. Yes, yeah, Silver probably could. Maybe there is a way of getting him back. Steel? A quick way, a swift way. Look. Blood. It's animal blood. Animal blood? What exactly are they guilty of? And what have they used as a time source? That's capable of everything. Yeah, well, there's one thing it hasn't been capable of doing. Something decided to disobey it, remember? The left hand, the past. The right hand, the future. I mean, what would happen if... Steel. 
It's dangerous. I know. I live dangerously. Well, what would happen if you disappeared as well? You'd just have to cope as best you can. You know what it can do. I know very well what it can do. Still remember, it's watching you. It's listening to you. Don't you see? That's what I'm relying on. You cannot take that chance. All right. All right. I'm just going to talk to it. What is your name? Name? Yes. You must have a name. We want to help you. We want to give you back the things you need. Sleep and warmth and food. Those are the things you want, aren't they? Well, we are going to help you to get those things back. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like that a lot. I'm going to give you everything you want. And you know what? We're going to send you back. Send you back where you belong. Mm -hmm. past again. This is the present. The present? Mm. Your child. He's quite safe. He's unharmed. We've brought him back for you. Brought him back from where? Don't ask them anything. I want to know what happened. Don't even talk to them. I believe you now. The things, the things you said you'd seen. Well, now I believe you. We're both imagining things. We're not imagining anything. Well, of course we are. These people are real. Well, aren't you? Yes, we're real. What are your names? How can they possibly be real? How could we possibly not be? What are your names? We might as well tell him. We can't. His name is Eldred. Mine is Rothwin. Names from the past. Oh, yes. But you're from the future. Am I right? You're right. And there's only the three of you. Well, tell me. Yeah. Yes. 
There's only the three of us here. But it's impossible. What's impossible? Them being here. No one can enter this place. No one can get in. No? No one from this time period. Where are you from? Please wait here until you're needed. can get in. No. No one from this time period. Where are you from? Please wait here until you're needed. All irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Ah. ah! Oh! <laughs> I was just about to... No. No, I was just... Well, I was just in the process of doing something. Yes. So what was it? You were busy making a mistake. I never make mistakes. Come here. In fact, I'm unable to make mistakes. It's built in. Instant reduplication. It never fails. It did this time. Let me... Silver. Open that. Well, can you? It would help if I knew what it was. Just a minute. Would you mind? What? I think he wants us to go with him. Come on. Oh. This is them. What is that? <laughs> What's behind there? We don't know. Why should we know? Because you belong in this thing, that's why. Well, we're not... What? Well, we're not engineers. What are you, then? Historians? Researchers? I just love both. Well, you don't know what it is that brought you here. This did. But not how it did. You don't know that? No. Well, what information can you give us? Well, that You're in danger. Do you know that much? Well... Yes, we realise that. Good. 
Because we put ourselves in danger because of you. Then we no. Must thank Don't thank us. It's not you we care about. You'll just have to guess. Right. We are real. And it is our job to safeguard the structure of time. The past, the present and the future. All of it. It was an experiment. That's all. Experiment? Yes! I mean, what's the point of a future? What's the use of accumulated technology? What's the use of learning? If you can't experiment. Yes! If you can't go bulldozing back where you don't belong. We haven't exactly bulldozed where we... You came here hoping to play happy families in the 20th century, but it's gone wrong, hasn't it? Right, You're so stuck here. Wrong. You're stranded. You don't even know how to use the machinery that brought you here, that left you here. And then there's the language. You just about got that right for the present time. Thank you. But not the names you chose. You got those wrong by several hundred years. And how's that for learning? How's that for accumulated technology? Um, do you think I might have that? Tell them what? Well, there are others. Others like us here. Two other groups. We already know that. Yeah. But there's an engineer in one of the other groups. Perhaps he could help. I'm afraid it's too late. Too late? They're all dead. Ah! Something out of nothing. they die, the others. We'd like to know how they died. They killed themselves because of the danger. Not only to them, but to everything and every... Yes. Would you have done the same thing? Well, if it meant... You can always do it now, you know. It'd save us a lot of trouble. Someone, some of us, have to tell them what went wrong, to make sure it never happens again. Yes. So we have to go back. If we can get you back, yes. But if you can't... How do these things work? I was there. That's the farmhouse? Yes. You were there? Yes. Well, that tells me nothing. All right. Rural study group, room two, please. Neither does that. The bedroom. What? The bedroom of that place. I want to see it. Well, show me. I can't. Can't? No. You mean there's no monitor in that room? There's a monitor in every room. Then show me that room. Look, if it's a question of secrecy, then forget it. There'll be no secrets. It's not exactly a question of secrecy. Then what is it? If you must know, it's more a question of privacy, of decency. Privacy? Yes. Decency? What is he talking about? I'm talking about the fact that unlike these times and the times in between, we have acquired, or rather gained, certain standards. What kind of standards? If you like, moral standards. Are you trying to tell us that it's taken 1,500 years of troubles, wars and famines 
to learn not to peep into one another's bedrooms. If you feel that you need to laugh at us. Then don't preach. Save it for your own time. Now show us that room. Rural study group, room five, please. They're asleep. No, they're not asleep. In the third group, the same thing has happened to them. Please. Switch it off. This monitoring device that you have... It doesn't work properly. Not between you and your control point, no, but what about between groups? Between? Well, each group keeps its own log, its own recorded diary, right? Yes. Well, do you have access to their log? Of course. But they're dead. Then it's no use to them anymore. So let's hear it. I need to know more about the power system being used. Whatever it is that brought you across time... I've already it's said... built it into this capsule. It's a kind of time... time source. Yes. Oh, so you do know that? Yes, but only that much. Only that much? Yes, that something, some piece of... Machinery? Yes, machinery was used to bring us back here. Well, why didn't you ask what it was? We didn't think it was necessary. Well, that piece of machinery did bring you here, and it's keeping you here. But now it's acting on its own behalf. It's thinking for itself. It's already caused people to kill themselves. Now, what has it got in mind for you? And your baby? But if we don't know the answers... They might. Yes. Well, get her out of here. The last log will be with them. Yes, well, that's about it. I mean, it's coming slowly, but I can't do much more without taking this entire capsule apart. That wouldn't be very sensible, would it? No. What's she doing? Ah, uh, uh, this is where the time source lives. Is it still here? Oh, yes. Uh, I think I heard your baby crying a moment ago. Look. I know. Animal blood. What sort of animal? I don't know. I'd need to do tests. Well, then do tests. Well, that rather depends on whether steel would... No, be. I'm sorry. It rather depends upon me. I need to know. Look. Now, these are impulse stimulators. Electronic nerves, if you like. A sort of artificial nervous system? Well, partly artificial. See, these would be used to trigger existing nerves and voluntary muscles. It's a way of bypassing the original brain. Now, these... Well, as you know, these are the sort of gadgets they use in scientific surgical operations. Operations on living animals? Yes. It's very advanced, though, going by this. It's very sophisticated. But still a form of vivisection. Oh, yes. The sounds of pain. What? It's just something Steele once asked, and I didn't know the answer then. Well, what was the question? The scientists of the future. 1,500 years in the future. What are they guilty of? Do those tests, hmm?
children were included in the discussion. It seemed only right that they should be. The time unit that brought us here is to blame. It is responsible, but not because of any malfunction. Its actions were deliberate. It has turned against us. Turned against us all. Could it? Yes. It has played tricks with our minds, and it is now our turn to be experimented upon and used. It urges us to escape into this time period. It wants us to become a risk, to become a threat to both the past and the future. In other words, a threat to the whole human race. It has the power of time itself, and we are no match for it. Therefore, therefore the only alternative, the only sure safeguard is our own self-destruction. This final entry is logged at 8.45 p.m., day 25, old calendar. You said it was an animal. Some kind of animal. Well? I can't make any sense of it. What kind of animal is it? It's not one animal. It seems to be every kind, every species of animal. In one small sample of blood? Yes. Where's Eldred? This is our sleeping room. Our private room. We don't expect to be disturbed. We want you to tell us something. Tell you something? About the future. About the time that you come from. We've no objection. So if you'd like to wait outside... We want you to tell us about the animals. Animals? Yes. What animals? The animals that exist in your period. But there are no animals. Not there, not anymore. Only in children's books, legends, things like that. But none living? No. Well, we've no further use for them. Well, no one would consider eating their flesh. Not anymore. No one has for the past several hundred years. Yes. What about pets? Pets? Well, domesticated and animals in zoos. That's the past. The atomic age. That's history. Yes. Anyway, the world, it's better off without them. They were unclean. They were cruel. And most of them carried some kind of disease. Cruel? Yes. What about the scientists? Oh, well. There's that, yes. But that's different. Well, what did they do? Your scientists? Well, the creatures that I use, they're, they're not really animals. Not in that state. What exactly are they? Just pieces. Pieces? Yes. Pieces? Kept alive. Propagated as pieces. Reproduced. But we never see them, of course. The public never sees them. Well, they're never allowed out of the laboratories. Well, that's where you're wrong. What did he mean, wrong? What did he mean? We'd like to know what you meant by that. Whatever is in there did leave one of those laboratories. It came back here with you. It was made to, train to. It's responsible for bringing you back here. Pieces of animal and pieces of machinery. Made to work together, made to coordinate. Perfected and then shaped into a time unit. 
Give them a kind of mind, a kind of brain. A brain? Yes. And one that's decided to work against you. Work against us? But why? Well, let's think of a hundred reasons, shall we? Or a thousand. Things that once ran wild, but at least free. Things that breathed and ate and produced their young. Things that swam in the sea. Things that managed to survive once. Reduced to a few living pieces. Well, it's in here now, somewhere. It can hear us and it can see us. And it only wants one thing from its encounter with the human race. It wants revenge. Revenge, revenge, revenge. Yes? It's broken free. It's escaped. It's out here with us. Where is it now? I don't know. But it's in the open? Yes. Wait here. Child with us at all times. Get them to take this capsule back now. Back? back. Oh, did you you said you could make contact with their base control. Well, there well, must be enough it? power in those monitors to make a hell of an emergency signal. Yes, but then I make to... one now. Can you do it? Yes. Get on with it. But, uh... All right, you two, into the screen room. Come on, quickly. Don't turn around, Steel. Steel, let us in here, remember. Now we know why. It's using us to help it escape from this capsule. We have to send it back before it could break out. Did I hurt you? We don't have much time. But what about Rothman and Eldred? We can't send them back with it. It is their problem. We can't. And they caused it. Let them see it. It doesn't belong here. First, we have to contain it. Get it back in its home. How? Lure it back. It's made of all animals. It'll eat anything. Feed it. We've ended. 
I want to know what's going to happen. You're going home. That's what's happening. Come on. Places, everybody, please, quickly. Right. There's the future. That's home. It's home. Oh, not ours, though, is it? Definitely not. Sir, so, could you take a place, please? Fingers crossed. Can I ask you something? This is hardly the time. Yes, you may. The figure, the man we saw, the one that made us sleep, was that our child? Yes, it was. Very good. Hold tight. Well? It's gone. Just an empty roof? Yes. Steel, you can't leave like that, you know. What? Well, you put a knot in the lift case. Imagine a world without animals. <laughs> yes, well, they're not quite as clever as they thought they were, you know. What do you mean? Well, they did have mice in that capsule. 